Hey guys, just want to give you a little bit of an update on the um, Aberdeen save. Um, so, I'm currently second in the league. Um, Celtic at the top at the moment. Um, two points in it. Um, I just can't beat Celtic this season. Um, so, last season I beat Celtic four or five times I played them. But this, this season, I can't can't seem to do the same thing, they got a lot stronger um, but I have beat Rangers um, 4-0 and that was a very very good re result for us um, yeah so things are going okay, lots of um, lots of wins lots of draws um, well I'll say lots of draws, we've had two in the league um, but 11 wins 2 draws, 1 defeat not bad at all really, a good return but I said I've still got Rangers on the tail and uh, so I'm still behind Celtic by two points but um, yeah things are going okay um, I'll show you the Euro Cup as well uh, we've got no doubt the Champions League um, qualifying stages um, by um, Dynamo Kiev yeah I lost 3-2 away and then I can only manage a 3 free draw at home um, which is a shame but so we have got still in the Euro group and as you can see we qualified top of our group um, this is very bad, very pleasing. Um, yeah, things are going okay. I'll just show you some players I didn't show in the last video. Um, so I brought an Angus gun. He was um, he was on the transfer list from Norwich. So they paid five million for him, um, and he's on the transfer list for, for like four hundred and seventy five k or five hundred thousand something like that. I managed to get him four seven five, which is was a very good sign. Um, I won't I say I bought in um Connor Hazard um from Celtic previous season to be my first choice keeper. Um just won't share on him. So he's very tall, we both look it was a very tall. Got great get great agility and jump reach of being so tall, but the rest of the stats I weren't too sure about. So I bought him going to be a first choice keeper. Um and Hazard's more my cup keeper to be fair. Um, but they're both doing okay really so I've got two good goalkeepers there that I can call them up when I need to but yeah so Gunn was a good a good transfer for me um, I then brought an Adam Eder um, I just I really don't know why Norris don't play on this game because he's um, every save I've done he's just very very good he's guaranteed 20 odd goals a season he's just yeah a very very good player on the game I say so first season he was a man at Celtic um, and did okay very good rated 19 goals or 26 goals overall but for me he's just been unreal so 7.98 rad um, rating in 10 league games 12 goals but overall 23 and 17 he's such a very good player in the game um, I highly recommend him to anybody who plays the game um, I know a lot of players who have, who've signed him and he's done really well for him so yeah, I highly recommend that striker. And to me, to really get one loan again, um, yeah, I was very pleased. Um, and then I just want a bit more strength and depth in the defensive areas. So um, my scouts highly recommend Nathan Phillips. He moved to Hanover, um, played a few games the first season, the second season. He didn't play as many as he wanted, so he was transferred. And I managed to get Bray up to K, which I was pleased about because. I say it's good, good ability and stuff, and good stats here as well. So I'm very pleased to have got him in. No real um, people going out really. Um, I did um, let Ricky J Jones and Nate Stewart go on loan. They're both doing okay right, on loan. Um, six goals for Nate Stewart and Ricky J Jones is doing okay. FK Dons, he's um, lots of assists. They're playing him left side of attacking the midfielder left so he's got lots of assists and um, we chip him with a few goals as well so hopefully they'll be in around his squad next year um, and now because this is the second season it's the World Cup or the yeah, World Cup year or European Championships coming World Cup I think um, we had a like, little mid-season break but I may come back after after the little break we had and won two games on the trot so that was good but January is going to be a mammoth month, lots of games, um, 
I got a four frame cut match as well. I got Rangers in in and amongst them as well. So I may bring a couple more players in just to get us over the like the tough bit. Um, even though I've got a, a fairly deep squad now, I suppose I could rotate quite a bit. So, but yeah, so things aren't going too bad. Um, I'll just share my finances as well. And so. My original transfer budget was 2.45 million. I've probably got 64k left, but I have brought in a lot of good players. Still on the wage budget, which is good. Um, yeah, still making a bit of money. So, the fair thing, not going too bad. Um, I will just show you um, Calvin Ramsey again. Um, he, like I say, I managed to keep hold of him in the summer. Um, you know, there's a lot of offers for him, but I managed to keep him. Gave him a new contract as well. The only thing about his contract, there is a 17.25 release clause in them from foreign clubs. So, um, hopefully, I can keep hold of him. But I may lose him in the summer if someone put in a good bid because he likes to say he's been brilliant. Yeah. He's had an excellent season again. Um, 22 games, two assists, oh, two goals, two and uh, nine assists. Average rate of 7.79, yeah, it's just very, very good. Um, definitely a mainstay in anybody's team if they want a decent right back. Um, and Sam McCullum, he's done okay as well. Um, improving all the time. And um, yeah, he's got seven assists to his name as well. A good rating, so yeah, things are looking okay. The players I've brought in have done okay. Um, Groovy Hall's done okay. I say they're all, they're all okay. We, we, I think we're going to be. Very, very close to win the league this year, I'm hoping. And hopefully have a good um, European Cup run, so. But I'll um, keep you guys updated. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you um like the video and stuff, don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel. Um, and leave a comment if there's anything you want to know about. So, yeah. So, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.